everyone. We are going to do some mini eraser math today. You have a green paper and a yellow paper, and if they're different colors, that's okay. One of them has a blank and a blank and a five and five little spots. The other one has a blank and a blank and a 10 and 10 spots. So we are going to use your new erasers, these little animals. And here's, oh, and you need, oh, I almost threw it. You need your dry erase marker. I'm going to show you what to do first on this yellow one. I'm going to pull out two different kinds of animals. I'm going to do some of the moose and some of the owls. So here's what I'm going to do. I have some moose and I'm going to put them in the spots right here. So I have two, so I'm going to put two of those down. And then I have owls, so I'm going to fill the rest in with owls. And then I'm going to count, and I'm going to count the moose. I have two of the moose, so I'm going to write the number two up at the top. And this is something you can practice if you need help. You can ask someone to help show you how to make those numbers, and it's okay if it looks a little silly. You'll get really good at it. And then I'm going to count how many owls I have. I have one, two, three. So I'm going to make a three. And then you get to see, it's kind of hard to feel like this all at my end fall. I had two plus three equals five. So I did a little addition problem with my erasers. So then you can erase those. You can use a tissue or a paper towel. Those are good things to use. Next, I'm going to do some foxes and a moose. So I'm going to put down my foxes, one, two, three, four, and I have one moose. So I have one, two, three, four, four foxes. So I'm going to make my number four, four. Then I have one moose, and then I can read my math problem. Four plus one equals five. And you can just keep doing that over and over with different numbers of animals. Just make sure you only use two kinds of animals when you do it. There's not room for three. So if I put down one moose, one fox, another fox, an owl, and a moose again, I would have two moose, two foxes, and one owl. That makes five, but I don't have room to write it down. So you can try that, but I would stick with using two different kinds. And you'll do the exact same thing if you're ready for going up to 10, you'll do the same thing. So maybe decide you're going to use the owls and the foxes. So I'm just gonna pull a bunch of owls and foxes out of my little baggie. And this time I'm gonna go back and forth and kind of make it look, I might go owl, fox, owl, fox, and then I'll have to figure out how to count them. So you can do it that way too. So I have a fox and an owl, then I'm gonna put a few more foxes and some owls, and you're gonna fill up all of those squares. That's important, you have to fill them all up to make 10. And I have three owls, one, two, three. So I can write down my three and then seven foxes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I can write seven, and now I did addition, three plus seven equals 10. So that's what you're going to work on with these. Have fun, enjoy your counting, and I'll see you next time. Bye.